Hey there, everybody. Welcome into this edition of Extra Time. Craig Burley and Sebastian here in studio. Shaka Hislop with us as well. I know on Twitter I promised you Don Hutchison, but Don's a pretty big deal, I guess. Just couldn't be bothered. Uh, couldn't one be of bothered our colleagues is here, but Do you know, uh, this Extra Time amazes me still because some people, they st they, after all these years, they haven't figured out that we're actually... Well, sometimes we're answering the questions, sometimes I can't be bothered to answer the questions, I have to be honest, because they're so bad. Sometimes you start extra time with a rant and we don't get to the questions. No, question. because the questions are so bad and so <laughs> stupid, not all the time, but some of the time. But some people haven't figured out yet that we're answering a question that was sent is to, into us, we're not bringing up a topic to discuss. Right. Like, you know, somebody about a question about, like, is... Uh, does that confirm Ronaldo's the greatest after his goals, he's better than Messi? And the boys answered the question, and half of these bozos were going, they're discussing whether Ronaldo... No, no, we're answering the question. Just answer it's not both. difficult to understand. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. but, well, it is for some. It is. It is. It is. Twitter's a tough place sometimes, uh, but not today. we got lots oh, of good I'm questions. Not, look, I'm not bothered with Twitter. I don't oh, know look at this. Okay. Um, our first question, I hear it's someone's birthday today. Is it? What well, are you? Well, it's somebody's birthday somewhere. Yeah. Yes, definitely. But the question seems to hint that it's Stevie. What are you guys going to buy Stevie to celebrate another year of him providing us boundless moments of entertainment? Nothing. It's Stevie's birthday. Me, is it? I don't know. You would know. Come on. Sorry? You would know. I haven't seen him for the golf season sort of over, so I haven't seen him. And why really? would I go and see him if it wasn't golf? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like... I, I've had him at an office shepherd's pie. I'm not that, I'm not that bothered. Wow. So uh, <laughs> it, might, it might be his birthday. I don't know. He owes me five bucks, so I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Shaka, do you care about Stevie's birthday? You seem to be laughing about it I'll quite tell you a bit. What. You know he's, he's 48. A young, just under I'll tell you what, I'll look it up. Right. <laughs> don't look it up, don't look it up. We don't need Keep it. chatting. Shaka, any thoughts I, on I, what to get Stevie? I don't know, Stevie. I'm at home. I'm not, I'm not going to see Stevie for a few days, so mm -hmm. it, it's fine. I was just laughing at how we're talking about <laughs> Stevie's birthday, and Craig says he owes me five bucks. <laughs> A, uh, yes. I can confirm December the 11th, Shakya. It was. Do we know the year? Is it? Uh, well, Not that we have to say it, but do we know it? Yeah. 61, because that's on his Twitter a handle. A long time ago. It's on his Twitter handle that's still active, but he's not on Twitter. Right. <laughs> right. By choice, not because he doesn't know how to log on. No, right? just by choice, yeah, just by because choice. he's dangerous on it. In this case. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's his birthday day. Oh, that, was, uh, that worries me. You know well, why? Happy well, birthday, Friends Stevie. like you and nobody to celebrate Well, no, no, uh, because my wife will know it's his birthday, mm -hmm. and she just falls over herself to buy people presents. <laughs> what would you get, Stevie? What do you get the man that has it? Uh, 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 diet pills. <laughs> wow, we are... Uh, Any reason to spend money, my wife can do it. <laughs> Um, all right, next question. Gentlemen, which achievement is harder to pull off? Zlatan scoring goals at the highest level in four different decades, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s, or Gigi Buffon keeping clean sheets over the same period of time? Oh, listen, it's easy to be a goalkeeper. <laughs> what, the hell, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Again, I didn't send the question in. Um, Shaka, do you want to f defend the position? Um, no, it's, 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 it's hard to defend, given that we've had other goalkeepers play into their 40s, but I can't exactly. think of, of too many. I mean, there's a couple of players played into their four, played out in, into their 40s, but not yeah. as I mean, well he's as He's got Lata. to run around and score goals, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And do it at a pretty What's high level. What's he got level. to do? What have they, what, what they got to do? Like, that, we, we established, we got, established got yesterday, we established on yesterday's extra time what? that goalkeeping is the hardest position in sport. All yeah. of sport. Yeah. Psychologically. Yeah, while everybody, hey, while everybody else runs around, <laughs> you, you stood like that. Yeah, yeah. Then you go, and even when the game's it's, going on, I've sorry, seen one more time, the, one more time, the, the visual there. Position yeah. in no, but sport. Shaka, how's that? Hey, how's Craig's Shaka. form? Away, away, and then I can't see. So I, I'm, I can't see on what, where and I'm. You know I what I've see seen goalkeepers doing as well. You know what I've seen goalkeepers doing when the, when the game's going on is going into the net and getting a drink. Mm. Right, yeah. And they tell me that's a hard position. Have you seen? Got to stay hydrated. You know, that's important. You have to stay fully hydrated to play our position. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, like I told you what goalkeepers are. Goalkeeper is somebody who is one usually tall. I'm being very generic here. I must admit. Yeah, no. uh, I'm, I'm using the scattergun approach. <laughs> somebody is usually tall who tries to play outfield and figures out that they're just not very good. Mm -hmm. And so the coach normally puts them back in goals at a very young age, puts a big pair of sticky gloves on them. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to drop the ball. Right. And that's climb how- Climb a building like Spider-Man. Huh? You can climb a building like Spider-Man. Hold Spider on, hold on. Right? Hold on. Well, Let me just say, Sebi, 
let me just say, when I was in college, when I was playing in college, and we were behind and we couldn't score, I used to come out and play on the park, and I have goals to my name wow. as a striker playing in college. That's legit. That's legit. Whenever we were struggling, imagine yes. that coaching decision. You, you, you're looking at you're looking at your goal. I'm looking at the question. Is that the question? No, it's not. We you need a goal. Bring Shaka goal. forward. Push Shaka uh, up. You need a goal. We will. Uh, we'll go to Shaka. Right. I love this next one. Which player divides opinions the most among the experts at ESPN FC? Lukaku, Pogba, or Ramos? It's got to be. Oh, I, I, listen. Lukaku. It's got to be Lukaku, right? That divides opinion. I feel like everyone's on the same page about Pogba at this point. And Ramos is just like a Stevie. And thing. Ramos. And, yeah. yeah Other Ram than I mean, Ramos does divide opinion a little bit because, but I can see where Stevie's coming from because he's, because a, a couple of the guys, at least a couple of the guys that he played with at Liverpool and their great Liverpool team were very good readers of the game, the Lawrenceons and the Hansons and, and and others, and they got themselves in good positions, whereas Ramos gets himself in bad positions and then has to do something drastic. So I can see where he's coming from, but that's not to take away that he's he's won everything in the game. So I I, I don't mind Lukaku. Mm. Yeah. I don't like. No, but you get the question. Right? I don't Divides really. Nobody. Do, I don't divide opinion in this show. Mm -hmm. I, I just sort of just. You just I, have it. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> you deliver it, <laughs> distribute it. I just agree. Yeah, right. I like right. to agree with people. Yeah, sure. What show have you been watching? Um, yeah, Shaka, you think it's Lukaku too? Yeah, I think it's Lukaku. I, I think we all kind of feel the same about Ramos, and, and, and the way I put it is, say Ramos is a good footballer, just, just happens to play in defense, but he's not really a good defender. And mm -hmm. I, I think that's kind of generally how we all think. We all have similar thoughts about, about Pogba. I think Lukaku is the one who, um, you know, we, we kind of uh, more in disagreement about. Yeah, I've just had a thought. I don't know why I had this thought. <laughs> But I just, I just sat in here and when Shaq was talking, I thought, I just had this thought come over easy, me. That I, easy, No, no, that, that after Christmas and New Year, I'm going to have to up my game in the nasty stakes. Really? Yeah. So you've been being nice recently? Is that what I'm to take I away? I think so. When Shaq was talking there, I thought, I need to be nasty. Again. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. It just it's because it's of Shaka. I, I, the visual come, of Shaka made you... No, it just comes I, over me. It's like a... I, right. have, I, have, so, I have so many questions about yes. this. Yeah, why? How <laughs> is it you just sit and randomly think, you know, once, once the Christmas tree comes down, I'm going to be really nasty. <laughs> just... I don't know, that's kind of I don't know, well, yeah. because, because it's TV's birthday? I, 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 that's kind of I, thing that... Uh, it's kind of things that come across me sometimes. So many questions. Sometimes uh, I look at you and I think like that as well. You do, yeah. I have that effect. I don't like looking at you, I have to be honest. Really? I have that effect on a lot of people, it would seem, on this show. <laughs> Evie said the same, Ali said the same. It's, it's, uh, there's no divided opinion there. Well, at least, there's no divided at least, opinion at least you there. find uh, comfort at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be it really popular. All right, uh, next question is for Don, but he's, he's too important. Uh, he, the question was, how does it feel to win or lose against your former club? Does it feel different than a routine win or loss? Shaka, what do you say? Oh, it, it feels... It, 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 it's an extreme. When you win, you celebrate like nothing. And even, even after the times you play against your old club and you win and you kind of walk around and give it the sympathetic applause, say, oh, you know, nice to see you again, nonsense. You go back in the dressing room and you are celebrating like nothing else. And then, and when you lose, is the, is the exact opposite. It, it it pushes those reactions to the extreme. Craig, what's it like being a young player and trying to stay focused when you get a lot of attention? When in your career did you start to get a lot of attention? How old were you? Uh, no. <laughs> 22, 23. <laughs> the uh, thoughts come into your head, and then they, they kind of go sometimes. Nasty, too, yeah. nasty. <laughs> You're still thinking about. <laughs> 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 Uh, I suppose when you start playing for the national team as well, you know, that kind of thing when you start, you, you know, playing regular for the national team, playing in big tournaments and, and stuff. But, you know, I think, I, you know, I didn't come into a team when I was like 16, 17. I mean, some of these kids are doing that now, particularly yeah. in Germany. You know, we're seeing Jude Bellingham and, and, and Gia Reyna at Dortmund and there, there, are, there are others. Jaden Sancho is now, I think he's 20 now, but uh, seems like a bit of an old man now, doesn't he? Yeah. But, so I, 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 I never have back in your day. No, that rarely. I think you know Wayne Rooney was after me well, quite a bit, but he played at 16. Yeah. I can't imagine that pressure. Mm. You know, I remember because I went to Chelsea. I went down to Chelsea to London when I was 16 years old, 
I left home in Scotland and went down there, and I, I you know, I was just a, an apprentice. I couldn't handle playing at the level that these young guys are playing at at that age. I just, I mean, mentally and physically, I wasn't ready. I mean, I was a skinny little kid. I wasn't strong enough for it. So it's just the, the kids are all changed these days. The youngsters are more mature. They're fitter. They look a bit bigger. Then they're just more ready. They're more ready. We weren't ready. For some Taka, um, you've had a lot of different managers, so next question feels like it's perfect for you. What were the most bizarre tactics uh, that one of your managers ever employed during a match? Ooh, bizarre. Yeah. The, uh, the United States famously rolled out the 3-6-1 at the 1998 World Cup. One of the more Scotland bizarre. Played a six, a f Scotland played a 6-4, not, not when I was playing, uh, in the last few years played a 6-4-0. Yikes. And in, in, in the Czech Republic and oh. lost. And I felt a bit sorry for the manager, Craig Levine, because lots of teams now play without a striker. But he tried it and they lost. And he got absolutely smashed mm. by the Scottish press. Jack, yeah. anything come to mind? Uh, I have no stories like that. <laughs> I've got... I, you know, I, I, I didn't... Shorty brandy before the game. Yeah? That's a tactic. No, I've seen that happen. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did the guy play well? Or did the, did the well, team no, no, play well? no, it was everybody. And did the team play well after the shot? I can't remember. I'll tell you where, <laughs> so I'll, it might have been more than... I'll tell you where it was as well. Mm -hmm. It was Chelsea. Really? But it was going back a long time, and I'm not giving away which manager and wow. coach it was. But this coach, who was a very famous coach, I must admit, uh, there was... <laughs> I couldn't imagine it now, could you? I mean, seriously. Yeah. We'd go out before the game, come in for the warm, from the warm-up, seven or eight minutes before kick-off, Got all yourself ready, did all the slapping and patting people on the back and shaking hands and wishing everybody all the best. And then there was all these glasses, drinks glasses. <laughs> and he was... Sometimes I, I never know if you're pulling my leg. I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg. And there was like these glasses, like, like what you'd put like a little bit of whiskey in and there was little nips of brandy. There was little nips of brandy in these, and you had a choice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was free, wasn't it? So I took it. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I'm, Craig, se I'm serious. I, I, this is, this, yeah, go this is the first time I'm hearing this story, but I have a feeling I know who the manager was. We'll have to discuss that off air, <laughs> see that you don't want to give away any names. I have a sneaky suspicion. That's all. I, that's well. I'll leave I can I can tell you you're correct because <laughs> I know who your sneaky suspicion <laughs> is, <laughs> and, and you're absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely correct. All right, let's uh, let's finish that one up off air. Shaka, should uh, Dean Henderson take over from De Gea as Manchester United's number one? We didn't talk about it in the show, but it is a uh, source of concern for a lot of United fans. I, I, I think if you're going to go with Henderson, do it from the start of the season and, and let him kind of grow into the position. Right now, I still think De Gea is a slightly better goalkeeper than Dean Henderson, but I, I think... They're trending in, in totally different directions. De Gea, uh, if Henderson gets games and, and experience, I, I, I think he improves. Whereas I, I just feel De Gea is slowly but surely regressing. Are we out of questions? We got one more. Oh, just before we go, let, let's talk about old school managers. This, is, this guy, Jim Smith, is no longer with us. Uh, he died uh, mm. last year. Uh, Shaq played for him as well. Uh, he was coaching for... Uh, Portsmouth when Shaq was there. Mm -hmm. What a fantastic... These, you know, we talk about having little drinks before you go out and all that, you just wouldn't do now. I'm not condoning it, but silly things like that went on. But when I was at Derby, when Jim signed me from Celtic and I went to Derby, we come in after a game and uh, we'd lost and I heard Jim say to somebody, change the tiles in, in the showers. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I said to one of the staff, change... Change the, those tiles in the shower. And the, somebody said, why? They're, they're, they're perfect. They said, they're bringing us bad luck. That's <laughs> why we're losing. Yeah, there you go. It's brilliant. I mean, honestly, they're like, they think of anything, you know, like, totally. we're losing. There's definitely something why we're losing. It's like, it's the windows. It's the, the tiles. Did they change the tiles? No, no. Once he, once he saw, saw us to end, that was it. But he just, you know, they'll do anything. Shaka, last question for you. Uh, why did the Stuttgart forward get so much criticism for delaying before his goal? Keepers do that all the time, says Eric. Running down the clock is not a bad thing uh, in that situation. Shaka, what did you make of it? That wasn't running down the clock. That was so boring. That's totally different. Really? And, and, and listen, as, as, I said, as I said immediately after it happened, if that happened in Toronto Tobago, nobody bat an eyelid. 
everybody's fine with it, but you know, the game is just kind of respected different ways culturally. Mm. So, so what, you have I'm an issue with it in Germany, that's the reaction. I, I missed it. Does anybody want to shine some light on it? Can I be honest? Striker, striker went round the keeper, right? So he's just him on the goal, walks up to the goal line, like literally walks, right. turns around, I think he did, and, and back he lit over the line to, to, to score. You know, it, it was... It was, it was showboating, you know? Yeah, um, all right. And, and there was a reaction by the goalie and a couple of the defenders after. I didn't know you were a big Stuttgart fan, Shaq, I must admit. That with that well, said, you I'll, are? I'll surprise you in many things, Craig. Yeah, you do surprise us quite frequently here uh, on the show, Shaka. See, you learn things today. Goalies, it's easy. Yeah. Jim Smith wants to change the tiles. Yeah. Professional players were drinking before going on the field. Nice Not me. Brandy. I refused it. Right. Well, you... Okay. I think. You, that's not what you said like five minutes ago. But yeah, but I've changed. Whatever. Exactly. <laughs> it's just the details. I don't believe that for a minute. Extra time is not the place uh. for details. Uh, let's leave it there for today, Craig. Thanks to you. Thanks to Shaka. We will, of course, uh, be back tomorrow. Dan's back in the hot seat, so uh, send him all your tweets. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.